Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm joined. Uh, can you please tell the, the viewers your your name? What is your name, sir? Yes, my name is Fungiza Zerumbairi. What? Can you repeat? Fungiza Zerumbairi. All right. This is my name. Okay. Uh, where did you grow up uh, in? I grew up in Mashonaran Central in Rushinga. Near, near Mozambique. Is it Mozambique? Near Going to Mozambique. Yeah, near, near the border of Mozambique. Okay. Yeah. Which year were you born? 1973. 1973. Yeah. So, who, how did you get introduced to Mbira? Uh, yeah. Ah, sorry, is it Marimba? Marimba. Yeah, Marimba. Both yeah. Marimba and Mbira. You can play both, yeah. okay. But I also make Marimba and also make Mbira. Oh, so I was right. Yeah, you <laughs> Right. Uh, so, so I started with this journey when I was uh, eight years old. Uh, In fact, my uncle he was the one who was making mirrors, those with the wires. So I used to admire him when he's playing those mirrors. When after making um, his mirror, then when he tune, he'll be playing a song. That's when I was so interested in in mirror. You see, your uncle is in your grandparent or uh, yeah, your father's father? My father's father. Okay. Yes. Uh, which year was that? Uh, that it was. Uh, in 1986, 87. Okay, shortly after the independence of Zimbabwe. Uh, shortly after the independence of Zimbabwe. So he was a marimba uh, was player. He was a mbira player. A maker and player. Also. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what about marimba? Where did you get marimba, marimba from? Marimba is me. I introduced myself, you know, because we used to, in our village there. Uh, my father used to. to to bring a train, then he, he took those uh, old, old dry trees, he put them on top of uh, that uh, train. train, train. Mm. So, if you hit those uh, logs with another log, they could uh, make some sound. You see, it was his way of. Uh, Scaring baboons, okay. <laughs> uh, birds who will be coming to eat in the fields, even elephants, because that area is uh, infested with elephants. There were a lot of elephants by then. A lot of elephants. So and an, eat, and wild animals. And wild animals. So okay. if you eat those ones, even in the night, mm. they could uh, run away. Okay. So now, uh, it came to my mind when I came to Harare. It was in 1988. Yeah, wow, wow. How old were you by yeah, then? Almost, uh, almost 12 days. Oh, you were still in school? Yeah, still at school. Yeah. Okay. Grade 7, somewhere there. I came to Harare and I saw those marimbas now on, uh, on, on, on TV, which were being played with some pipes. And it reminded you? Yeah, then oh. it reminded me. <laughs> Uh, then what happened one day I found a uh, headboard, some, mm. some some wood like this. Then I put them on top, I make like this and put them like this. Okay. At, at first, you know, I used to make all these uh, these logs mm. the same. So I could find a challenge when I'm tuning now, like when I want to tune or anything. So these ones, uh, they could have made this last sound, last C2, mm. it can have made the F. So that's when I said, ah, what are they let me make, make them shorter so that uh, they can, the sound becomes also smaller. That's when now I started to cut my notes into this octave form. So no one taught you this? No one. You just saw it on TV and yeah, you, you did started, your own stuff. Then I started to do my own stuff. At home? Uh, at home, alone, you see. But I didn't know that uh, to, to put on the right scale, like Doremi uh, Faso, like it. Because sometimes uh, it uh, gives maybe different, maybe this uh, E. 
could become G. Mm. So, but the sequence you can play but it was not well tuned. That's okay. how I started to make it. Until now, I had to discover what to call a, a tune. A tune. That's when I started now putting my, my, my keys correctly. Because when I'm tuning this thing, I use a, a tune. So this one is a C1. When I'm cutting inside this plane, when I'm cutting inside, mm. Uh, when it, it is not yet to uh, see it uh, labels green. When it is correct, it will labels green. Then I leave it now we got the correct correct uh, sequence. Okay. C D also until C T. When I am making double octave, double octave it has got two octaves. From C to C up to C. You mean there's a dirty lasso coming another octave goes down again with eight, eight keys. So, um, how did you learn about all these sequence? Did you later went to school for, for this or, or you, 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 you just uh, googled it? But, but I, I, I doubt because by the time you were growing up, like the time you were saying uh, in the eight, late 80s, there was no internet. Yeah, there was. So, I'm, I'm trying to think, how did you find out your way? Did you go to a school? For music or what? Later? Yeah, later on I went up to a school of uh, music at Zimbabwe Music College. Yeah. Which year was that? That one was uh, 98, 99, 2000, 2000. Okay. That's when I went to uh, learn some music there. Then also I was making marimba at the same time and the mbiras at the same time, you see. So, which makes, uh, makes me to travel a lot. I traveled to Canada, Australia, to Sweden, to African countries. Mm. African country. You are being invited or what? Yeah, they could invite me. So when a uh, university or a college or an individual need marine dancing, call me, pay air tickets, then I go and make the marine bus for them and I also train them how to need. I can spend a month training them after making a set of marine for them. You see. So it made me travel all over the world doing that work. You see. When someone sees the set of marimba, I say, where can you get this marimba? They connected to me. After we talk, they said, oh, I also need that set of marimba. Can you come to Namibia? Can you come to Botswana? Can you come to Nigeria? Can you come to Then I could go there and make the set of marimba. And the mirrors as well. I could train them. Then when they know how to play, I will leave them like that. So ap approximately, how long have you been doing this or playing I've been, I've been doing marimba this. and bira? I've been doing this since from, I can say, from 1988 when I started to introduce this, uh, this uh, stuff marimba. So uh, have you till, done? Till now, yeah. I'm just doing my, 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 my marimbas, bira and all traditional instruments. Like tender tender tonics and uh, those hubs go 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 they were being amazed by yeah, this. They were so much amazed when we are playing this instrument. Because after playing, we could go to a, a mall so that I can advertise myself. I'll be playing marimbas there. Oh, there. They were so entertained. <laughs> So we can we can reluctantly say that you you have been an ambassador <laughs> yeah, of, of yeah. the marimba and biras. Yeah, we need to say that. So that's the only thing you have done. You have n never really worked like 
you, you did this like full time? Yeah, I do, I do this full time. From 80, from long back then? Yeah, since from after you, finishing school. You just focused on that? Yeah, after up to O level, after my O level, then uh, it was full time making marine selling them, going all over. That's what I was doing. So, I, are you, I, have you been a teacher before or are you teaching classes or anything? Uh, maybe I can say I'm a teacher or whatever, but I've been teaching every, in some universities. Teaching okay. the, the people who, have got, who the graduates who have got PhDs in music, but I could teach them practical how to play marine by the mirrors. <laughs> Which universities have you taught? Oh, the University of South Africa, South, University of Botswana, Zambia, Rwanda, Kenya. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. That's pretty amazing. So, do you have kids or a family? Yes, I do. Do you have any of? I've got two, two boys, two girls. Does any of your kids uh, know how to play these instruments? Yeah, they, because there's there should be a, a legacy, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because you are growing old. Yeah. It yeah. comes a time where you maybe you cannot uh, be able to play this stuff. This, you need to leave it to some this some song, people. Yeah. yeah. The, the last one is she's a girl, yeah. and uh, the second from last is a boy. Those ones are they are so much interested. They can play marimba or even when I'm in a workshop. They come and they help me. Yeah, that one is 80, is now, she's now grade one. But when she was at the preschool, she was the best marimba player at the preschool. <laughs> she's very intelligent. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So, uh, what do you have to say to the people out there? Uh, who are skeptical about these traditional instruments like marimba and bira? Do you think they are connected spiritually to traditional, um, like uh, African tradition way of worshiping, or it's just an instrument like your pianos, your guitars? Because there are some people who, who don't believe maybe in African tradition, but they they like these instruments. But because of that, that's really their religion. Maybe they're Christians or Muslim or what. They may try to avoid this stuff. Do you think it's, it has something to do with spiritual or it's just a gift from God and it's just an instrument? You know, like this one is just an instrument. To me, it's just an instrument. But uh, now people, some other people, mostly like the religious, they take it. Uh, this one is for... For, 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 for demons. I, Especially the mira, yeah. The mira is, is played for demons. Yeah. Know. It's just an instrument. You can use it even to to, 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 to worship uh, a worship, church. Yes. Yeah. You can use it because when you use it to worship uh, the Lord, you know, it touches the spirit very fast than the guitars. <laughs> okay. Know. Okay. Use marimba and the... Uh, yeah. Use marimba and mirrors in a present worship team. Mm. You see, a lot of demons will come out. <laughs> okay, I, I, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm yet to see that, and I would like to see that yeah, and experience. A lot of them will be affected and yeah. they running away from <laughs> the people. You see. Okay. So now I think that's where people get lost to know that they to know this one. Uh, if it's just imagine when someone is playing a set of beer and marimba, when someone is playing guitars there, you are playing the same song, but the, the affection, how the instrument that affects you is different from the way you affected the, from with the, the guitars and the marimba. The marimba the this is natural. Yeah, the natural one, the affect you very fast, you see. <laughs> People, they may... If you try it, you can be affected, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You see? So, you can that, and start hunting. so can you, can you please uh, play for the audience, just if, and for a short time, maybe they can hear that, the sound of the instruments the you are talking. Instrument. Yeah. He's, he's joined by, by, by someone here. I think it's his colleague, yeah. Yeah. You can play as well if you want. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's play. Come. It's a
Yeah, yeah, I, I, you know, this is uh, my, my, I can say this song when I go out of the country, when I'm playing this song, I can see the bubble. It's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was, I was think, I was telling myself, I, I, I could hear that uh, maybe it's that song. Yeah, yeah. So, who did that song? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> then as we could Do you have your own song? Your own songs? Even this one, we changed it to play. <laughs> when I'm saying my baba, my mom takura, don't need the beans and the, 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 the maize cooked. Yeah. When you are selling like that, we are struggling like that. Then you some, some big properties now they they come. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From you now. From your hard and money yeah, and stuff, yeah. Money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I noticed something. When you were playing, mm. I, I realized how focused you were. <laughs> and so much you were into the uh, instrument. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess that's passion. Oh. You cannot play or do something without passion. Yeah. I could see there was a connection like <laughs> you were passionate about what you're doing. So what do you have to say to uh, the youths who would like to learn these instruments or to venture into music or instrument, uh, playing instruments? Yeah, like especially to the youth of Zimbabwe. Don't go to these uh, computer things. Please play the traditional instrument. Make real music with the traditional instrument. Marim Bambira, Gororombe, Pendani, those Penda You see, you can make very good music out from it. Natural music. And the sound is so natural. You see, make a difference from this one. So that uh, this instrument, uh, they are not really you see, if you go to America, you know, those white people, you know, they are taking now our culture. If you go there, they are wearing those uh, Zambians, putting them, they are playing marimbas, dressing better than us. As from here now, we are going there to watch them, then we are amazed. This is thing from Zimbabwe, is done in Zimbabwe, you see. But uh, it is a thing which originates from here. Mm -hmm. Because this thing, when you are playing this thing, is better outside there. You can go out there, you can teach this thing in schools, preschools. You perform to some individual, perform anywhere, some cultural, you do whatever. You, see, you don't stop. Yeah. So, if uh, there are people who want to connect with you, either to learn or to buy the instrument, uh, where can they get you? Yeah, myself, I stay in Chitunguza. Yeah, I stay in Chitunguza. You can contact me on my number, plus 263-776-963512. Yeah, 
that is my own number which I need to come. If they need to be taught, they can come at home at my workshop. If those who need to learn how to make these marimbas, they come and come contact me, they come at home, then I teach them how to, to make my marimbas. Those who need to be taught, they can call me, they can buy one instrument, then I, they can come to their places of choice, then I can go and teach them. Yeah. Do you charge how to, uh, yeah, to make? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To teach someone to make? Yeah, yeah, I can charge. Okay, so are you at liberty to, 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 to say the price or maybe when they contact you, you will say the price? Ah, normally I charge you. When you, when you are learning how to learning how to make I, I charge almost 20 dollars a day okay 20 dollars but it can be negoti negotiable or what yeah, it can be negotiable, <laughs> very negotiable. okay yeah, when you teaching mm. yeah when i'm coming to your place you i can see how far you are where there's a transport man who just need the day so i to something I can charge maybe 15 20 dollars per hour. Yeah, the, the, the money he is uh, talking about it's US dollars. It's US. Here in Zimbabwe, we are using we are currently using US dollars. Yeah. So when he's saying 15 or 10 or 20, it's 20 US dollars. 20 US dollars. Yeah, it's just to, for the viewers or yeah. audience outside there or around Zim Arari or outside Zimbabwe. Yeah. Yeah, like this guy, this another one who is, uh, I'm teaching him how to, how to, 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 to make okay. marimbas. So, uh, one of my, 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 my students, I'm teaching Oh, it's one of your so, students. So, okay. I told him, let's get into town, my brother, today, so that <laughs> we can see how we can do that. <laughs> ah, that's beautiful. Yeah. So, what about people who want to contact with, uh, to connect with you in, in Arare, in town? Are you available? Yeah, I'm available. Where do they get you in in town or Arare? Uh, I'm mobile. You know, I have to move so that... You don't have a specific place, okay? I don't have a specific Sometimes I'm, I'm here, maybe for two, three hours. I'm here, most of course, most of I come here. Between the can, you, can, you, can you say the place... This Where you are here, <laughs> Third Street and the Nelson Mandela. Yeah, near Africa Unit Square. Near, near Africa Unit Square. Yeah, in the Parliament, yeah. the old Parliament. Yeah. Yeah. Near Parliament here by the corner. Yeah. Sometimes I come there when I'm not teaching. But sometimes I go to some schools and teach these marimbas. You see. So when I and with free time I come here, then you'll be selling these small marimbas to some individuals. Also I'll be advertising so that people know about this marimba. Because most of the people, very few people know. Because sometimes they okay, come here, they'll be separate. What is this? I said, ah, Zimbabwe is asking me, what is this? So yeah. I'm telling you it's a marimba. <laughs> you know, yeah. every Zimbabwe must know this is a marimba. Yeah. This is our traditional instrument. Yeah. The most powerful instrument. I call it the most powerful instrument. Because it's powerful than the Mbira. Yeah. It has everything. Yeah, this is the mother of all music instruments. Before Mbira comes, this is the standard. Okay. This one is the standard. Yeah, of course, you, you know, like in Mbira, they came when you were introducing to this natural things. But this one is the standard long, long back. You see, they were using those uh, calabashes, mm. you see, to make uh, marimba. They can put under, on top of a calabash, they can put a uh, uh, the log there, the, when they eat, the, when the sound goes in that calabash, it produces sound. And later on, they were using bamboos, cutting those bamboos, putting them then make them as resonators. And later on, um, pipes, PV pipes, it was introduced, you see. Then uh, it goes on and on. Oh. Wow, yes. we, can, we can go the whole day uh, yeah, okay. talking about this stuff. About this. It's been a pleasure, sir, to uh, be with you and uh, sharing your experience and everything you know about the Mbira and the Marimbas. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you, too.
Sorry, anything. Okay. 